folks. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. My wife has observed after 22 years of being married to me that sometimes I'll get stuck on an idea and it'll just bother me and gnaw away at me. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I grew up in a Baptist preacher's home and patriotism was drilled into me. Now, I never was able to serve in the armed forces. I've had too many health problems. But patriotism and love of country was drilled into me. There's a lot to that and a lot to unpack, but I was always taught to respect the flag and so on. I fly the flag on holidays, try to bring it in so it doesn't get wet in the rain, try to keep a light on it if it stays out overnight, things like that. Follow the flag code to the best of my ability. I, actually, for about the last year, a little more than that, I've wanted to put up, it's been almost a year and a half, I've wanted to put up a flagpole. Oh. <laughs> you know, have the flag flying. It's been uh, not exactly a dream, but something that I wanted to do. Well, while I was pondering this, a neighbor of mine put one up. After putting the flagpole up, he proceeded to hang a Trump flag below the flag, whatever, that's fine. Didn't seem, nothing was, you know, disrespectful in that. And then after he finally got around to realizing that Trump was not gonna be inaugurated for a second term, he took that down and put up a Gadsden flag again. Cool with that. I like the Gadsden flag. I would love to fly one myself. But I've never gotten around to putting the money down for putting a flagpole up. So, about a week ago, I'm coming home from work and I look over and here he's flying an F. Biden flag and obscuring the middle two letters of the cuss word is an image of an American flag. And I'm sorry, but that's completely disrespectful to the American flag. Now, I get it. He's upset. He doesn't like the current president. I don't like the guy either. I find the guy to be a putz. I'm concerned about the direction our nation is going and the direction that our current president is taking it. But I'm not going to go ahead and disrespect the symbols of the country in an effort to show my displeasure. That just doesn't make any sense. So I did make mention of it on uh, local social media, and for the most part, people agreed with what I said, but apparently my post got reported three times by people who didn't like the fact and thought that I was some kind of flaming liberal, which I am liberal from the standpoint, if you look at it from being a person who loves liberty, yes, that would be correct. But from a political perspective, not so much. I would fall more into a constitutionalist. And they just found it so funny. that These people were trying to defend this guy for, you know, violating the flag code <laughs> by accosting me verbally and calling me all sorts of names of and telling me that I was stepping on the guy's right to free speech. No, not at all. You can fly what you want. You just understand that if somebody's going to have an issue with it, they're going to have an issue with it. There are some things that I don't do when it comes to the flag. I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance because my allegiance belongs to Christ alone. In my interpretation of Scripture, I shall, should make no vow by anything on heaven or earth, etc., etc., and Jehovah is my God, and I shall have no other gods before him. I believe saying a pledge to a flag is, if not going against that, I believe it is skirting the line, so I don't do it. More interestingly, the, the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States flag was written by a socialist, a socialist nationalist. We know what happened with socialist nationalists. We know what happened with them in the 1940s, 1930s. It was bad. But as a symbol, I love the symbol that is the United States flag. And I respect it. I stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Even if I don't say it, I put my hand over my heart. I stand for the National Anthem. I take my hat off if I'm wearing one. I had the same kind of annoyance when people had the flags on their cars after 9-11 became this big thing and they went around with these flags on their cars and they wouldn't change them out when they got tattered and then all you'd have left was a little shriveled piece of plastic on a plastic rod sticking up off the edge of the car and it was so ridiculous and so disrespectful but they thought they were being patriotic because they had flags on their car or the remainder of a tattered flag so I'm sure this will ruffle some feathers and some people are going to get mad at me because I suggested that they shouldn't use the flag to cover a swear word, whatever. I moderate all comments, so any comments in poor taste will not be posted. No, don't bother. Getting back to one of the things I said earlier, I wasn't really upset that somebody called me a liberal. I just found it funny because they meant it as an insult, to be fair. 
I view myself as liberal in the sense that Ben Franklin was liberal. I have annoyed a few people along the way who don't really like Ben Franklin as a person by calling myself a Ben Franklin liberal. The main difference being I'm not a womanizer and I don't have any dead body at dirt in my basement. <laughs> at least as far as I know. I think I might go to Wawa and get something for dinner. I think that was a good enough little ride. I enjoyed it. By all means. As long as your mom's okay with it. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing okay. And yourself? Good, good. Oh, you probably need this. Sorry. All right, 932. My brain is all tired. It's okay, I understand. I've been up since 530, so... Yeah, uh, you're probably about midway or half, uh, beginning your own, so. Yeah, beginning. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sadly. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Oh, it's been sitting right there and I didn't even notice. Thank you, you too. So folks, <laughs> I guess I can just sum it up to say, be kind to your neighbors, be friendly to everybody. And I hope you all are safe, well, and blessed. Thanks for watching. Scootin' Fool out.